All right, everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video with Fat Phil. And today we're going to be talking about older farms and whether or not it's worth it. Is it smart to even go after these things? Because with the, you know, light speed bundles coming into the game now a lot of players have been asking me phil should i even bother farming this older thing if they're just going to end up making it into a light speed bundle we're going to get into all of that stuff give you guys some thoughts you know show you what i think is going to be the smartest thing moving forward for your account and not just like for right now but even in for the foreseeable future so please like and subscribe comment down below let me know your thoughts let's give some shout outs to the channel members for all of their continued support if you're ever interested in joining, that link is down below, along with a link to the Discord server. Make sure you guys go check that out. Um, I very much appreciate you guys just continuing to put your faith in me to bring you good quality content around Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. So let's get into our introduction, and then we're going to talk about whether, you, whether or not it's smart to farm older characters. Alright, guys. So, let's kind of deep dive this a little bit you know is it worth it to do these older farms and i think when we think about when you say older let's just kind of first show you something that in the journey guide the newest character the newest thing that they've released a light speed bundle for was star killer and he was released in december of 2021 so he was about two years old when he was released in the light speed bundle so that just gives you kind of a reference point of hey this is how new-ish these things are, right? He was the, you know, newest, the youngest thing released in a light speed bundle, and that was about two years, right? So just a context there of what older farm could mean. Um, but let's first kind of break down the three kinds of light speed bundles that I've kind of identified, and I've broken them out into three groups. So you think with these light speed bundles, I kind of call them the early fan favorites, that they were things that a lot of players went for early in their experience that ate up a lot of their early time was maybe if you want to go for general skywalker star killer supreme leader color and kind of these popular farms and general skywalker can fit into two categories as you'll see but some people really like to farm them early and others you know not so much but like they kind of fit into this early fan favorites that you farmed them early you spent a lot of your time and resources there early on in the game then you had this group of you know things that it was like geared but not fully where like we all built the Phoenix to get Thrawn and then never touched him again. We all went and got Beskar Mermando, but probably didn't gear up all of his other requirements beyond just completing the mission. You know, maybe Grief and Mando got a little bit of love. Geonosians, you complete the Wat Tambor mission, throw him to the side. Ewoks, you got C-3PO, throw him to the side until you need to get Leia. Um, so this kind of like geared, but not fully. And then the out of the way stuff, which General Skywalker also kind of fits here where... If you didn't get him early, he's just kind of out of the way from everything else you were going for. Night Sisters kind of fall into this category. And then obviously Ray Resistance. They just, they didn't lead you to anything. You didn't naturally accumulate Resistance or Night Sister characters from other farms. It just didn't happen that way. So um, those are kind of the three categories of light speed bundles that they kind of fit into these brackets, I feel. And you guys tell me if you think there's more, but I think like all of them kind of fit into one of these areas. So with that let's kind of talk about like it was it well is it still worth it to you know maybe farm somebody like darth malik or jedi knight revan darth revan you know even afra and all this stuff is it worth it to farm them if maybe they're going to get a light speed bundle well first what you need to think about is the time frame for a return on your investment because a lot of you are thinking like oh yeah they're gonna like they're not gonna release another set of light speed bundles tomorrow Right? Like, it's going to be a couple of months. Now, I don't know what that, that couple of months could be. Six, it could be 12, it could be three, it could be nine. Like, we don't know. However, you can kind of use this as a good idea that, like, the last set came in October. Now we're getting them early May. So that's what, you know, seven months, six months, right? Six months. Um, but I would say the one good thing with Datacrons that they've done is that they've given us a time frame for how long capital games views a return on your investment so you think datacrons are in your account for about three months before you lose most of your resources right most of the datacrons kind of you know you lose about 60 percent of your resources maybe even a little bit more close to 70 percent of the resources you invested into these datacrons and those go into the new set so and that happens every three months so you can use that time frame to kind of say hey if i go get you know, Malik, 
Jedi Knight Revan, Darth Revan, and I have them for three months and there's still not a light speed bundle, I've probably gotten a decent return on that investment. So I want you to use that time frame just as a good judgment basis. Some of you may not like that, but I think that's a good frame of thought to have that you've had that thing for three months. That's a decent return on your investment at that point, right? Um, and again, the other thing to think about here is that um, and this comes from only Roke. Shout out, man, in the comments. I really love the way that he worded this. So he said, and I'm going to try and let's pull this comment up. I don't want to read the whole thing here, but um, let's go here and here. So what he said was, oops, of course I lost it now. There we go. It was right here. He said, um, you do not buy power. However, you did buy time. I love that. Like that Lightspeed Bundles is not buying you power in your account. It's buying you time. However, I'm going to expand on it a little bit. Yes, it's buying you time, but it's buying you gear time. So you think you advanced your account forward how many months from gearing, starring, right? The relic situation for these Lightspeed Bundles. But you didn't advance it from a mod perspective, a Zeta perspective, Omicrons. So... Yes, you bought time, but it's almost like the, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the best example. Um, it'd be like if you sent me, you know, into the future, right? If you advance me into the future a hundred years, I don't know what's happened in the past hundred years. Sure. I am now a hundred years in the future, but I don't know what's happened inside of that hundred years, right? So it, like my body's advanced but my knowledge has not. And that's kind of like the same way with like your, you know, Zetas and mods that yes, like you've advanced part of your account forward three months or six months, whatever, but you didn't, you didn't get the full way there because there's still these other resources that go with that. So when you do something like a general Skywalker or Malik farm and you kind of do it naturally, right? You go through it and actually farm it. Think about while you're working on all that stuff, you've built Zetas, you've you know, accumulated Zetas, you've accumulated mods, you've gotten to work on these things. And so I don't want to discourage you from going after an older farm because even if, and maybe you're like, oh, well, Phil, you know, I'm going to buy the General Skywalker one regardless. Like, that's fine. But don't be discouraged from going after somebody like a Dr. Afra, you know, Darth Revan, Jedi Knight Revan, some of these things that maybe didn't get a bundle yet, uh, you know, Cal Kestis, that some of this stuff could actually be really beneficial to continue to work on because you're going to naturally get there. Even like Sith Eternal, we really haven't gotten a good bundle for him yet. I don't know if we ever will, but even if you do that naturally, all that time that you're spending gearing up those characters, you're working on your mods, you're progressing your account at once rather than kind of taking a leap in one area and staying consistent in the other one. So that like, I do want to make sure you understand that, that yes, you get through part of the paywall, when you get the light speed bundle, but you're not making any progress on that time wall of Zetas and Omicrons and mods. So if you really want to be safe, if you're looking at me like, Phil, just tell me what to work on that probably won't get a light speed bundle. It's this stuff right here. The Jabba's, the Leia's, you know, Cal Kestis, Bo-Katan, Jar Jar. When the light speed bundles came out, they were like, hey, this is a good way to catch up to your guildmates. But the one that they released and they said it, and I think it was almost like a Freudian slip. They almost put it in there was when Beskar Mermando was released, the Lightspeed Bundle for him, they said, hey, this is going to be a character you need for the upcoming Bo-Katan Mandalore event. And this is when I really think I, it clicked in my head that the Lightspeed Bundles are designed to get you to work on the new things. They don't want you spending your time farming Kylo. Farming Ray, Star Killer, General Skywalker, Geos, these things. They don't want you farming this stuff anymore. To them, this stuff does not make them money. The amount of farming guides we had that showed you how to get all this stuff free to play in relatively short, you know, in the span of the game periods of time was, you know, was there, right? So they don't want you doing this stuff. They want you building these new things. So if you're trying to think of, oh, what's a safe option? It's this stuff right here. It's the stuff that's still very new in the game that is very relevant in the game. Like this is where they want you investing your time, resources, and energy into earning these things. And I think like, especially with this Jar Jar, with Jar Jar right now going into the new raid, a lot of us are kind of speculating it's going to be very Galactic Republic and Separatist heavy. And you think about these Lightspeed bundles that came in with Separatists and Galactic Republic that, 
kind of made a lot of sense to me that they didn't want you to see the requirements for this new raid and be like, oh, I'm not going to work on the Gungans. I'm not going to work on the staff. Like, that doesn't, you know, trench. I'm not doing that. No, I still need to get new Gunray and Django and B1 and Droidica. Like, um, so if you want, like, the safe option, it's going to be these things. And I know that sounds like it sucks. And you're like, oh, but they're not accelerated. And Phil, it's so much Gyrotech. <laughs> Listen, it's a double-edged sword. You want a safe option where they're not going to be released in a Lightspeed bundle? You're probably looking at these things. If you don't want to spend as much Pyrotech, but potentially go into, hey, there might be a bundle coming in the future. Like, look at the Sith Empire. Look at the Old Republic. And um, this kind of leads into the final point here, especially because Malak does not yet have a light speed bundle. I don't know if they will actually do this because of the Revan, of Darth Revan and Malak being required for the Leviathan. Um, and Leviathan right now is still a very, very new part of the game, right? It's not even a year old yet, so I I'm, would not be surprised if this never comes to fruition. But just say that it does realistically inside of those bundles there's not going to be a relic jedi knight revan malik or darth revan because they're the journey guide characters so investing resources into those characters like relics and zetas like you're fine you're safe there they're not going to give you them anyway so somebody like bastila sean fallen who i would say is the only when you do like the jedi knight revan event I did it with a Relic Revan, and then I kept Joe Lee and Bastila low gear for a very long time in my account. And I didn't really, I don't really have a ton of regrets. I'd love to have a higher Joe Lee, but it's not the most important thing to me right now. However, having a Relic Bastila has been massive for my account for a very long time. So even if you do invest some resources into getting her to Relics, and a Lightspeed Bundle happens to come out, and she's included, so you relic up one character inside of a light speed bundle it's not the end of the world right i'm not telling you to go and relic every single old republic character now and then oh if a light speed bundle comes it's not a big deal like i you know i don't know that that's the smartest decision unless that's what you really want to do and then fine go do what you want but you know i don't i don't have this crystal ball to tell you what will and won't happen what light speed bundles will I just kind of say you've got to make decisions and live with it, right? If that's if there's one thing maybe that this encompasses everything with these older farms, you know, is it make does it make sense? Whatever decision you're going to make, you've got to live with it. Hey, I'm going to go for Malik, and I know that maybe there's going to be a light speed bundle at some point that might have helped me out with this. You know what? I don't want to go for Malik. I want to go for these guys because Phil said that you know they definitely won't be getting a light speed bundle anytime soon, and then. You know, you go and work on them and then you're like, crap, I probably could have gotten Malik. Like, you know, it, it again, it's going to be, you've got to make that decision, but you want the advice of it, no bundle, look here. Otherwise, what I would say with these older things, you know, maybe you're not going to buy these bundles. Maybe you're not going to buy them all. My advice will be treat these things like side projects. I would not be spending like for, and what I mean by that is let's say you're trying to get to Darth Malak right now. I would not be shutting everything to the side to just focus on that. I'd maybe try and get Jedi Knight Revan while working on characters for Jar Jar or Bo or Cal or something, right? Like I'd still try to make progress on these newer farms because I think they're very important. A lot of guilds are kind of looking at them and saying this is a requirement to join. Um, so you kind of work on Revan on the side. You get Jedi Knight Revan. Then you're going to work on Darth Revan on the side while you're continuing these farms. And then, hey, now I can go get Malak. That's kind of how I would go after these things. Rather than spending a bunch of months just solely focused on this. And I'd kind of make that progress along the way. And that way you're not putting all your eggs into one basket. That way you're kind of still progressing with these newer things. Because I guarantee you guys that a lot of guilds now are going to look at you and say, if you don't have Cal, you're definitely not in because we want you working on bow like and you may think oh phil that's so far away for my guild it's gonna happen sooner than you think i promise you it will happen sooner than you think because you're gonna start seeing this gap grow from the guilds who not only are getting zepho but the ones who are getting to mandalore versus the ones who aren't and the ones who are hammering this new raid and the ones who aren't it's just gonna it's gonna blossom so my advice really is gonna be I think you work on these. Not only are they safe about light speed bundles, but they're also the relevant things. And if you are going to work on these, just note that like, hey, I'm going to have an advantage over the people who purchase this because 
while I've been working on General Skywalker, I've been able to equip these Zetas and not run into these other problems where you got all these things and now you're, you know, 50 Zetas behind like a lot of you are. And I'm not throwing shade. That's just the truth. Like, even me, I don't have Zetas on these characters and I'd love to have Zetas on them. Like, I'd actually really, really love to have Zetas on them. But don't have that luxury because Bo, Jar Jar, and everything else needs Zetas. So... Let me know what your thoughts are. Like, subscribe, comment. If you're still watching right now, Wampa is king in the comments. You know the drill, guys. Wampa is king. We hit 8,000 subscribers, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned this in a video. If we hit 10,000 this year, we will Relic 9 Wampa live on live stream. If Wampa is already Relic 9, I will list out in a, some approved characters to take to Relic 9 for you. So, I love you all. May the force be with you, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, my friends.